Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here today and I have a layout for the Off the Board series that is happening for the month. And so I showed the sketch at the beginning of the video and it will pop up here in the corner in just a second as well. And so I'm using a Sketchability sketch for my layout today. That was my inspiration. So there you see it is now on the screen. And I'm going to start by layering up some layers here behind my photo. I in the sketch it has tons of layers all going around the photo and so I'm going to mirror that here with all of these scraps. I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of July and it is mostly based on pink fresh papers and then some Hip Kit exclusive papers and so I have a whole collection of different pink fresh papers. Uh, a lot of them are the fresh bouquet collection as well as other pink fresh collections that I've had in my stash. And I am just going to layer up a whole bunch of papers here behind my photo. I did put a few of these papers through my um, big shot and did add sort of a bit of like a distressed edge and like a notebook type edge to the top. So just adding a little bit of texture and dimension with my layers that are going here behind my photo. So they're not completely all rectangular or anything like that. I have them sort of a little bit of texture on the pattern, different patterns, and then lots of different layers that don't go all the way around the pay, all the way around the photo, I should say. So there you see, I am going to finish up my layers here. I'm just laying out where that diagonal stripe is going to go. And I realized that the piece I had to cut originally wasn't quite large enough. So I went ahead and grabbed this other scrap that I had, and I'm going to use that there as my final layer behind my photo. Now, one of the things that I really liked about this sketch was there was some really messy mixed media. And then I really wanted to just play with some of the pattern papers and just layer them up. And so I liked the three uh, layers of pattern paper that are in behind the photo as well as all the layers behind the photo. So I went ahead and cut two of the pattern papers and I'm going to layer them up there at the top. And then I also have in my kit some washi. So I am going to use that yellow washi uh, once I add a little bit of interest to my background. Now on this particular day, I was not in the mood to actually do messy type mixed media, but I wanted to have something that kind of mirrored that a bit on the background. So what I decided to do is I'm going to do some messy stamping and by messy, I mean, I'm going to layer up and have them overlap. So when I put my stamps down, you see me starting with this small kind of daisy flower and then I'm pulling out this other floral stamp here from the fifth and Monaco. And I am using, I believe this is twilight gray ink from Catherine Pooler. And so I am pulling out these stamps and instead of stamping them so that they're not, you know, so they're side by side, I'm stamping them almost on top of the other daisies. So you're kind of getting, like I said, a messy stamp. I'm not looking for it to be perfect. I'm looking for it to be really messy and layers of stamping on top of stamps kind of kind of a look. You'll see it a little bit better in the close-ups at the end of the video, but I did that with the floral stamp and then I have this little plus sign stamp that I'm just going to use the drive-in color from Catherine Pooler and I'm just going to add some of those again layered up with the florals. So I have these sort of messy stamped clusters, I guess you could say, and that's going to be sort of my take on the mixed media. And because it's mixed media and it's going on my background, a lot of it gets covered up. So you really just see little hints of it, which I really like just to have that little hint of the mixed media instead of it being super detailed and, and it's not super clean. Here I am just going to grab a little bit of mist in Sweetheart from Shimmer. So it's a vibes. And I just use that to do some splatters. Now this paper wasn't treated or anything like that. So the splatters dried really, really fast. And so now that uh, 
the splatters were dry, I did go ahead off camera and put down those pattern papers and that washi tape that I had showed at the beginning because that was how my background was going to lay out. Anyway, I'm keeping very close to the sketch. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing that I did do that was different than the sketch is I have a cluster that's going to be at the bottom of the bottom of the page. So I didn't want to have so much white space at the bottom. I felt like it needed a cluster or something down here at the bottom. So I am building out sort of this little pocket kind of embellishment cluster here at the bottom of the page. And that is sort of my take on this sketch. So here you see I'm just working on each of my embellishment clusters. I have all of these florals that I cut from one of the pattern papers in my kit and I'm layering them all up. I am keeping pretty close to where the original sort of clusters are that go, that go around the photo. So I have the one at the bottom left of the photo and one at the top right of the photo. The photo is just like the sketch in that it's pretty much in the center. And then I have, like I said, that third cluster that's going to be down at the bottom, sort of more toward the right. And so I'm kind of just playing with all of these bits and pieces that I pulled out. I have lots of color going on here. I have sort of like a periwinkle kind of purple blue color. I have all these florals with the yellows and the pinks and the greens. So a nice fun colorful layout. I love these florals. And so I'm just finishing up my cluster with a few of these little individual daisies and then uh, I'm going to add in these little butterflies to my clusters and I will go ahead and glue all of this down off camera so you don't have to watch all of that. I did want to add a bit more of a different texture so I added a few wood veneer butterflies as well and just in just a sec you're going to see me come back and we're going to finish up the layout with the title. I have glued everything down and I'm going to work on my title. Now I can tell just by watching this back that the title that I'm putting down which is going to go right here underneath the photo is a little hard to read on camera, but off camera you can totally see it in person when you're looking at the layout. But basically I am just titling this one Vacation Shopping since these were some goodies that I picked up when I was on vacation. And so I snapped a little photo of it. So that is what we are calling this one. And I have my title down and now I'm just looking for, you know, the little sort of finishing touches, bits and pieces. I want to, I, I'm definitely on the more is more train. And so I am kind of just pulling out pieces and kind of fitting things in amongst my clusters to make them nice and full and give them some interest. So I'm adding just some word phrases. I'm thinking about this other one on the, on this other cluster, but I don't end up doing it. I just put the one on the tab to the cluster on the left. And then once I have that, I am going to put this sort of little little tag piece, which I'm sorry is covered up by the actual uh, photo of the sketch, but you'll see it in the plus or in the uh, photos at the end. Now to finish up the layout, instead of enamel dots, I am just going to do some trails for my butterflies with these sequins. And I definitely have been inspired to put trails on my butterflies from Crystal lately. A lot of times I don't put these trails on, but I feel like I've been adding them to a couple of different layouts recently and I am kind of liking it. So that is going to pretty much wrap up this page. Here are the still photos. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.